We're here today talking to Rohit Chand from Rohit Civil in Auckland, New Zealand, and we'll get him to talk about the sharp grade. So, Rohit, how long have you had the sharp grade? Uh, I have had the sharp grade since uh, September 2017. Um, this was actually bought for a job for Auckland Council because uh, they did a car park which is 5,000 square meter which was um, done in a wave sort of uh, platform which had a wavy car park and it had valleys going into the bottom and another valley coming to the other side. Right. So you have run 3D the whole time? Yes. So what system do you run? Is a, a Leica icon? Leica icon. With uh, a total station? Total station. Right, okay. And what sort of accuracy do you achieve? Um, we get to a point where it's roughly around 3 to 15 mil. Yes. Um, that's after checking out. We found out a couple of places there is uh, up to 15 but it depends which areas we walk on. Right. Uh, and uh, for our walk accuracy is important, especially on roading. Yes. And uh, this has been really, really a job for us. So, aside from car parks, what, what other work do you do? Uh, we do car parks, we do roading, um, we also do um, uh, um, uh, private subdivisions, and we also do uh, land formation um, for uh, sections, people, and we also do a lot of green statement work. Right. Especially when we do um, projects for Spain Park. Okay. Uh, so what? why did you choose a sharp grade over other products that are uh, readily available on the market? Uh, I had looked at a uh, um, few different pro uh, products. Um, I know, firstly, this is our Kiwi Mate. Right. And um, secondly, uh, I have other friends who are using the same. Yes. Um, and uh, they have given good feedback. The backup service was good. When I talked to uh, Stefan at the time, he was really good. Uh, obviously, I didn't meet you at the time, and it was really good. The backup service was really good when I talked about before even buying. And uh, the feedback from other, other mates of mine were really, really good. Right. So some of the features you like on the sharp grade, the fact you don't have to grease it? Yeah, one of the main, main thing is there's no no greasing. I don't have to worry about um, uh, any, any external parts which are really, there's so much space you know, where I'm not too concerned in and uh, the servicing is actually not an issue. I don't have to worry about, uh, about, about greasing, about doing maintenance apart from your normal uh, daily checkup stuff. Right, okay and the fact that there's no uh, centre pivot with the rear open, uh, do you use it in reverse a lot? Yes, I use it a lot in reverse, so it makes the walk twice as faster because I can push putting yes. and then I can pull putting and filling at the same time. Right, okay, so um, I, you, you have purchased a turf grader attachment uh, recently, what, uh, what uh, signaled you to um, make that purchase? Well actually uh, this attachment was purposely purchased for Earthworks only uh, and then uh, on trial when uh, Nick Ford we came over and fitted this machine and showed to me this um, uh, attachment was uh, tried on um, paste metal which was compacted heavily so I was concerned and I asked Nick could you do that? He said, yes. So I said to Nick, I have got a root track or a ripper in, in my machine at the time. And now when the ripper holds onto the metal, it gets stuck. I said, could I use this at the, at the same time doing my metal work? And although we bought this for topsoil, I now use it full time on my car park metal preparation because um, this actually pushes the metal in front and helps me carry a huge load or bigger load pushing in front and then the rest of them comes at the back and then I can also screen the bottom right. to the right height. 
So running the turf grader uh, in, in metal uh, for 3D work and roading, would you, would you say it's increased your productivity by 30%, 20%? Uh, firstly, I would, have, I, I would say that this was more, although you may say this was four top so, but I think this has done really good on, really yes. good on metal, and it's, it's increased my productivity by about thirty percent. Right. Um, otherwise, I, I always had to get a bigger in front if the compactor had gone through, and if we had a big cut or fill uh, on an existing platform to walk on, I would have had to get a ripper or a digger to come and walk in front. I don't have to. Do that. Okay. I see when you're operating in metal, you, you, you keep it up about 40 mil, say an inch and a half, uh, and it, it angles up. And I, I, I note that, do you use that for, for to lift the material? Uh, yes, uh, when, I, when I use it to lift it up and uh, when it turns around, it mixes the uh, metal. So metal is not segregated, it is mixed properly with pines and it also pushes as I keep going. Right. Okay, and you use it in forward and reverse? Yes. Okay, so you're running a 2.2, which is a 7 foot box, on a 120 horsepower machine. Would you uh, like it wider, or do you think the size is correct? I, I keep it to the size, this is the right uh, size, uh, it is correct size. I wouldn't go any wider, um, uh, mostly to do with the the size which is working very well right now. Right, okay, and when you're pushing with the uh, turf grader on, you, you can carry, do you think, 20% more, 30% more? I can carry um, just over a cubic metre. Right. Um, I think we're just getting about uh, three quarters of a cube. Right. But right now we are carrying more than a cubic metre when we start pushing. Right, okay. So. With the turf grader on the front, do you find it more difficult to turn the machine? No, it's it makes it has made no difference. Right. Okay. Um, any other features that you, with the particularly the turf grader, is there any one feature that stands out for you? Uh, the main thing I like about it is this, there's no chain drive. There is no chain drive or anything on this um, uh, turf grader, and that also means this less walk again and it's more durable um, it's very uh, I've pushed metal I've pushed through uh, bigger stuff too at times but it's very robust and uh, that's it mate that's yeah so you, you've had it for three months uh, probably um, have you ever had it off do you remove it one one time I thought uh, when when this was delivered and I was told that it's removable when you could do that, I was a bit worried that I may not be able to carry uh, enough metal because I saw the bar in front and I thought it might not work and we removed it, we pushed it, then we realized that hey hang on, I'm doing less metal when I took it out and I was struggling when I took it out so when I put it back and now my walk rate has gone fast again. Right, okay so in all, uh, it's increased your productivity and increased your versatility um, and reduced the stress on the track because it doesn't require as much to push. That's correct. Excellent. And so you would recommend um, the purchase of a turf grader for aggregate work? Any time. Right. Any Excellent. Time. Well, thanks very much for your time, Rohit. Thank you.